Hey guys, I've got some great news for you. This is a follow up to this video here. If you're in YouTube and you do a search for Power Apps Template and then some type of help desk, service desk, this video should come up and you're gonna be looking for this, this thumbnail here. And what this is, is the old Power Apps template. So let me just bring up Power Apps real quick here. And this is the home screen of Power Apps. Now if I scroll down here on home, go to more create options and you go down and find the template and here it is service desk okay um, I created that video regarding opening up this template and getting it to work because if you try to create this this application from this template it actually doesn't work so this is a live stream that was actually my first live stream and it was two hours long and I walked through fixing a lot of things and with this particular video, what I've noticed is people are following along and they found one part that um, did not work right even after I quote unquote fixed it. So what I want to do is po is post a follow up video um, that that shows and demonstrates what those fixes were. OK, so one of the things that I did, this is a form here and inside the text boxes in here. Uh, what you'll notice is what I did was I, I said parent dot default. Okay. And that was actually wrong. So these were variables of, although the variables weren't, uh, really named, uh, properly. Um, I sort of bypassed those variables and those variables need to be in there. Um, cause it was, it was a created design with these variables in mind. Okay. So um, over in the original video, what I've done is I have, in fact, I'm just click in here and I'm gonna mute that and pause it and all that type of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down. First of all, at the top, when I fix any bugs in this particular template, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload it here into GitHub, okay? So that link is there. So you see here, I updated it 23 minutes ago, all right? And so there, there's there been some discussion here and it, it comes back to, let me pull that back up here. All right, so it comes back to actually using these variables. Okay, so let's go into assigned to. Okay, click on the text box. And you see that we're actually using that. So if it, this variable, this variable is initialized on previous screen. And also if we go in and um, change Karen A to Ryan C, you see it comes back depending upon that variable. So what you want to make sure is for these four here, you need to stick to that variable. Okay. So let me go down here. Let's show you one more example. Okay. So that area is a variable. Now what's great about Power Apps now, it's got a new feature. You've got this little search button. Now you actually have to <laughs> enable it. Okay. So if we go over here and go into upcoming features, let's go look for that. Here it is. Search. Make sure that is set to on, okay? And then you'll get this little search bar. Okay, so we've got this thing called area. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over here to the search. Okay, so you see all the places where that variable is used, okay? <laughs> so as you can see, it's being used. Hey, if you're getting anything helpful out of this, a comment or even a like really helps the channel. And that's people like you know this is good content. Much appreciated. All right, so another thing that I noticed that was a bug was that there are these dashes used in the application. So let me go uh, now realize that this application was using Microsoft Excel as a data source, which is a bad data source. It doesn't really work out too well for any type of a production situation. Okay. So here we have this, there is inside this form, there is a, a text box. Okay. And it's called value 12 and you go into the default. And this is what was there before. Okay. So as you can see, it's actually using a dash. Now over in Excel, you know, a date field was actually a string, I believe is how I handle it. So you could put two dashes in there. Um, but what I did here, instead of the dashes, I put an empty string. Okay. And if you do a search for any other dashes, you're going to come across this label over here. And that's fine. You just want to keep those, those dashes are fine. There's just a label being dis displayed there. Okay. So this morning I have made those two changes to make sure that this thing works completely. Cause that was the whole point of this video is for those of you who really like this 
this application template. I wanted to make sure that you guys were are able to get it to work and it and it works just fine. Okay. So if you guys um, here in this update video or, or the previous video, um, I'll, I'll post this one this morning. And if you guys notice any other bugs or, or anything, and if there's any minor improvements that you think everybody else would benefit from, let me know. And I'll, I could create another follow-up video. So another uh, side note I would like to let you guys know about is I have a whole, if I, if I go back to the search results for a help service desk. Okay. I have a whole playlist. This is the very first video and these are all live streams and this is a ticketing system. It's actually a course I'm building out, which is together. We're building out a complete service desk, help desk, trouble ticket or ticketing system together. And it's going to end up being a uh, hundred times better than this thing. Okay. So if you're trying to build yourself a service desk that has a lot more features and functionality, looks nicer, does a lot more things than this thing. If this template just isn't cutting it, you want to go and check that out. But it's not, uh, you know, I think a lot of people just use this template if they're just trying to get something to work, perhaps that are not familiar with Power Apps, you know, so that might work well for you. But if you want to roll up your sleeves and dig in and build an application from scratch with me and see how I build it and, and you're going to build it as well, we go through all of the requirements and design and all that type of stuff. If you, if you go into my channel, you click on playlists. You're going to find the whole playlist here. Now, right now we've got 10 videos so far and uh, I uploaded a new one just yesterday. I did not publish this video because it was something I, I a live stream I did for the insiders group during my lunch. Now, when I talk about the insiders group, what I want you guys to know is that this is a course where I help you build this. So if you guys have a problem while you're building this system, I want you to post. So it, the Facebook group is a way for us to interact uh, much better than just these comments here. Okay. So if you look in here, I should have a, um, a link here. Yeah. What you need to do is fill out this student intake form. Okay. And once you fill that out, it's going to redirect you to the Facebook group. And it allows me to gather some information like what are the biggest problem areas that you experience while building power apps and that type of stuff. So I want to understand what you, what everybody's background is so I can better help you guys. Okay. As you can tell, there's a lot more videos building it from scratch than just using that template. And this system is much more uh, complex, much more involved. And also guys, I plan on doing a live stream uh, this Saturday or in two days. So we'll be in there live. So watch for your notifications for that. And uh, I'll see you there where we're, we're actually going to build out the next screen for that. So if you haven't seen this playlist, you might want to check it out. If I click on the title for this playlist and then get out of there. Uh, so this is the link. I think I might actually put this link uh, in the video description for this video. So if you're looking for that, um, you'll be able to get to this much more easily. Okay. Guys, for some reason, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video next. Let's see if they're right. Or you can select this playlist, which I've selected for you based on the content you're currently watching. Guys, got to hurry. Click one of them. Otherwise, YouTube's going to autoplay some other video. Which you probably don't want. Thanks. <laughs>